You might be taking vitamin D3 every day, yet still be deficient. Not because your dose is too low, but because your body isn't activating it. When vitamin D3 isn't activated, your body can't use it effectively, and the consequences can quietly build over time. Research shows that insufficient active vitamin D, the form your body actually relies on, is linked to high blood pressure, increased risk of certain cancers, weakened immunity, chronic fatigue, bone and muscle weakness, and even metabolic and kidney stress. A 2019 study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that people with low active vitamin D levels had significantly higher rates of hypertension and impaired immune response, even if their standard vitamin D blood tests appeared normal. Similarly, research in Frontiers in Endocrinology has shown that inadequate activation can contribute to chronic inflammation, which underlies many age-related diseases, including cancer, diabetes, and heart stress. The scary part? This problem is extremely common. Millions of people who take vitamin D3 supplements are still functionally deficient, sometimes without even realizing it. In this video, we'll reveal the hidden signs your body isn't activating vitamin D3, why it matters for your heart, immunity, and overall health, and what science says about safely making sure your supplement truly works for you. Before we start, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to help the video reach more people who will benefit from it. What does it mean to activate vitamin D3? When you take vitamin D3, whether from sunlight, food, or supplements, it's not yet ready for your body to use. Your liver has to first convert it into something called 25-hydroxyvitamin D, also known as calcidiol. Then your kidneys take over, turning it into 125-dihydroxy, vitamin D, or calcitriol, the active form that actually controls calcium levels, supports immune balance, and keeps your heart, bones, and brain healthy. If this activation process breaks down at any step because of poor liver function, kidney issues, or missing nutrients like magnesium and vitamin K2, you end up with plenty of storage vitamin D, but very little that your body can use, and that's where the problems begin. The dangers of not activating vitamin D3. When your body can't activate vitamin D3 properly, it can set off a cascade of health problems. Let's break down what that really means. 1. Heart and blood vessel problems. Low levels of active vitamin D are strongly associated with high blood pressure, heart inflammation, and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. A large meta-analysis published in the European Heart Journal, 2022, found that people with low active vitamin D levels had significantly higher rates of hypertension and left ventricular hypertrophy, a form of heart thickening caused by chronic pressure overload. Active vitamin D helps regulate the renin-angiotensin system, or RAS, a key mechanism that controls blood pressure. When vitamin D activation fails, the system goes unchecked, causing blood vessels to constrict and blood pressure to rise. In simple terms, without enough active vitamin D, your heart has to work harder, your arteries become stiffer, and your long-term risk of heart disease climbs. 2. Kidney stress and decline. Your kidneys are responsible for the final step of activating vitamin D, converting it into calcitriol. But here's the catch. When your kidneys are under stress, whether from dehydration, high blood pressure, or diabetes, that conversion slows down dramatically. According to a 2020 study in the Journal of Renal Nutrition, patients with even mild kidney impairment had 40 to 60% lower active vitamin D levels compared to healthy controls, despite taking the same supplement doses. This creates a vicious cycle. Low activation of vitamin D leads to poor calcium and phosphate regulation, which further strains the kidneys. Over time, this imbalance can promote inflammation, reduce detoxification efficiency, and accelerate kidney decline. So even if you're supplementing daily, poor kidney function means your body may still be starved of the active form it truly needs. Three, weak bones, cramps, and muscle fatigue. Vitamin D's best known job is helping the body absorb calcium, but that only happens once it's in its active form. Without activation, calcium absorption in the intestines drops dramatically leaving your bones and muscles 
without the nutrients they need to stay strong. A 2021 study in nutrients found that individuals with low active vitamin D levels had reduced bone mineral density and slower muscle recovery, even when their supplement intake and calcium levels were normal. This explains why some people still experience muscle weakness, frequent cramps, or brittle bones, despite taking vitamin D3 and calcium supplements. Their bodies simply aren't converting enough of it into its active, usable state. 4. Hormonal imbalances. Vitamin D acts like a hormone itself, influencing the thyroid, parathyroid, sex hormones, and adrenal glands. Inactive D3 can lead to elevated parathyroid hormone, PTH levels, disrupting calcium metabolism and hormone balance overall. 5. Higher risk of certain cancers. Several studies suggest that insufficient activation of vitamin D increases the risk of breast, colon, and prostate cancers, as active D3 helps regulate cell growth and prevent abnormal mutations. A study published in Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention in 2018 found that low calcitriol levels were linked to a significant increase in colon and breast cancer risk, independent of total vitamin D intake. 6. Reduced lung and respiratory health. Did you know that vitamin D receptors exist in the lungs, where calcitriol helps regulate inflammation and immunity? Low activation increases the risk of respiratory infections, asthma flare-ups, and weaker lung function. 7. Insulin resistance and blood sugar problems. Vitamin D helps your body regulate insulin and blood sugar. Inactive D3 can contribute to insulin resistance, making your pancreas work harder and increasing your risk of type 2 diabetes. One 2019 study published in Diabetes Care found that low active vitamin D levels correlated with higher fasting, blood glucose, and HbA1c, a long-term marker of blood sugar. Hidden signs that you're not activating vitamin D3. Now, how do you know if this is happening to you? Here are some subtle but important clues. One, you still feel tired, drained, or achy, even though you supplement regularly. If you've been taking vitamin D but still wake up tired, have persistent body aches, or lack motivation, that's a big clue your D3 may not be converting into its active form. That's because your cells can't use inactive D to produce energy efficiently. It's like having a full gas tank but a broken ignition. Everything you need is there, but your body can't turn it on. 2. Your muscles feel weak or sore for no clear reason. If walking upstairs feels harder than it used to, or your legs feel heavy and easily fatigued, you might not be activating vitamin D properly. Vitamin D receptors are found inside muscle tissue, and the active form, calcitriol, helps your muscles absorb calcium and maintain strength. When activation fails, those receptors go quiet, resulting in muscle pain, twitching, or a feeling of heaviness in your limbs. According to a study published in the Journal of Nutrients, 2021, People with low active D levels had up to 30% lower muscle strength and balance, increasing their risk of falls, especially among older adults. 3. You catch colds and infections more often than usual. If you find yourself falling sick frequently, or your cuts and bruises take longer to heal, low active vitamin D may be the reason. Active D3 helps immune cells like T cells and macrophages detect and fight pathogens. Without it, your immune response slows down, leaving you more vulnerable to viruses and bacteria. 4. You experience bone pain or stiffness even if you take calcium. One of the clearest signs of poor activation is deep, dull bone pain, often in the lower back, hips, or legs. That's because without active vitamin D, your body can't absorb calcium effectively, so your bones begin to lose minerals. Over time, this can cause osteomalacia, the softening of bone tissue, which can feel like a mix of joint pain and deep muscle ache. 5. High blood pressure or heart palpitations that don't improve. Vitamin D regulates blood pressure by calming the renin-angiotensin system, the hormonal circuit that keeps your arteries relaxed. If your body can't activate D3, the system can become overactive, causing stiff arteries, fluid retention, and rising blood pressure. A hypertension research 2020 study found that individuals with low active vitamin D 
had significantly higher renin levels and blood pressure compared to those with normal activation. 6. Dry skin, hair loss, or slow wound healing. Vitamin D plays a key role in cell regeneration and collagen formation. Without activation, your skin and hair cells can't renew properly. You may notice dry patches, brittle nails, or more hair shedding than usual. In Dermatoendocrinology 2018, researchers found that patients with low active D3 had significantly slower wound healing and weaker skin barrier recovery due to reduced activation of keratinocyte cells. What stops vitamin D activation and how to fix it? Most people think vitamin D deficiency means they just need a higher supplement dose. But in reality, the real problem is often an activation problem, not an intake problem. And several hidden factors can silently prevent your body from converting vitamin D3 into its active hormone form. Let's break down each one, the science, the consequences, and the practical solution. 1. Low magnesium levels. Magnesium is the master activator of vitamin D. Both steps of activation in the liver and kidneys require magnesium-dependent enzymes. A groundbreaking study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that people with low magnesium levels could not effectively raise or activate vitamin D, even when taking high doses. Another study from the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association showed that magnesium deficiency reduces vitamin D activation by impairing both hydroxylation steps. What this means is you can swallow 5,000 IU of D3 daily, but without magnesium, your body simply can't turn it into the active form your cells need. How to fix it? Take 250 to 400 milligrams per day of magnesium glycinate, taurate, or magnesium mallet. Add magnesium-rich foods like pumpkin seeds, almonds, cashews, and leafy greens. Avoid relying on magnesium oxide. It's poorly absorbed. 2. Vitamin K2 deficiency. Vitamin D increases calcium absorption, but vitamin K2 determines where that calcium goes. When K2 is low, calcium has trouble entering bones and tends to linger in the bloodstream, which makes the body hold back on activating D because it senses that calcium isn't being properly utilized. Research published in the journal Nutrients found that vitamin D metabolism works optimally only when vitamin K2 levels are sufficient, and deficiency can cause the body to limit activation to avoid calcium dysregulation. What this means is, if you take vitamin D without K2, your body may intentionally produce less of the active form to avoid imbalance. How to fix it? Add 100 to 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 in MK7 form per day. Eat K2-rich foods like natto, egg yolks, hard cheeses, and grass-fed butter. Combine D3 plus K2 in your supplement routine for optimal synergy. For every 1,000 IU of vitamin D3, you need 10 micrograms of vitamin K2. 3. Poor kidney or liver function. Your liver converts vitamin D3 into 25-hydroxy vitamin D, the form measured on blood tests. Your kidneys convert it into the active form. If either organ is stressed, activation drops dramatically. Studies in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism show that people with fatty liver disease, diabetes, or mild kidney dysfunction often have normal vitamin D levels on tests, but extremely low calcitriol, meaning they aren't activating it. Conditions that reduce activation include fatty liver, diabetes, chronic dehydration, high blood pressure, even mild kidney impairment. What this means is you may feel vitamin D deficient even with a normal lab result because the activation step is blocked. How to fix it? Support liver health by reducing sugar, losing visceral fat, and eating cruciferous vegetables. Protect kidney health by staying hydrated, avoiding excess salt, and controlling blood sugar. Avoid high doses of vitamin D if you have kidney disease, unless supervised. 4. Lack of sunlight exposure. Sunlight doesn't just create vitamin D. It also helps regulate the enzymes responsible for activation. What this means is, even if you supplement, lack of sunlight can reduce how efficiently you convert it into the active form. How to fix it? Get 10 to 20 minutes of sunlight on arms and legs daily when safe. Allow morning light exposure. 
It boosts circadian regulation of demetabolism. If you cannot get sunlight, make sure magnesium levels are strong enough to compensate. 5. Certain medications interfere with activation. Several common medications block, slow, or disrupt vitamin D metabolism. These include steroids, e.g. prednisone, reduce vitamin D activation in the liver, statins, affect the enzymes involved in vitamin D processing. Anti-seizure medications dramatically increase vitamin D breakdown. Some weight loss drugs reduce fat absorption, lowering D levels. How to fix it? If you're on these medications, you may need magnesium, K2, and moderate but consistent D3 supplementation. Always consult a healthcare provider before adjusting doses. 6. Chronic inflammation. Inflammation from obesity, gut disorders, autoimmune issues, or infections disrupts vitamin D receptor activity, meaning cells cannot use activated vitamin D effectively. How to fix it? Reduce inflammation through omega-3 rich foods, turmeric, sleep, and stress management. Improve gut health, since 70% of your immune system lives there. 7. Aging. After age 40 to 50, both the kidneys and liver naturally slow down vitamin D activation. Research from the University of California showed that older adults convert D3 up to 50% less efficiently than younger adults. Solution. Increase magnesium intake and use D3 plus K2. Get regular sunlight as much as possible. That's it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who takes vitamin D, and subscribe for more science-backed health insights that truly matter. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.